In this tutorial for the Layered Earth, we will go through a brief overview of the opening activities in the Get Ready section and a brief overview of the closing activities in the Wrap Up section. This is the opening screen for the Layered Earth. Clicking on Student Lessons takes us to the next screen and we can see that there's an icon for every one of the seven units that make up the Layered Earth. Let's click on Unit F, Volcanoes. We can see that the left panel has now been split into three separate areas. The first section is called Get Ready. The second section is called Unit Lessons. Unit Lessons will be dealt with in greater depth in a separate instructional video. And the final section is called Wrap Up. Let's go to the very first part of the very first section, Unit Overview and Big Ideas. The screen to the right here gives a brief overview of the material covered in the actual lessons. The first section here, Big Ideas, lists the main ideas in the unit, the big broad conceptual understandings. Underneath the Big Ideas we have a small section devoted to each individual lesson. Here we can see that in this particular unit there are three separate lessons right here. Each lesson itself includes a guiding question. The guiding question is the reason for doing this lesson. Students should be able to answer the guiding question at the end of the lesson. To the right of the guiding question there is a listing of the key concepts for each lesson. Let's go to the next section here. What do you already know? This activity makes use of students' general background knowledge. It is an example of an advanced organizer, in particular an anticipation guide. It is designed to capture students' interest, to activate prior knowledge. It consists of a series of general background knowledge questions. These questions will again be addressed at the end of the unit after the students have worked through the individual lessons. You should also notice over here to the right that the main view panel has also changed to provide context for the students. It is zoomed into a volcano in Indonesia, in this case in particular Mount Tambora. At the very bottom here, our back to lesson icon takes us back to the unit screen. Our next activity is the literacy link. The literacy link is designed to intrigue students, to pique their interest. It provides another form of connection for the students to the material outside of the formal curriculum expectations. In our example here, our excerpt this time is from Jules Verne's novel, A Journey to the Center of the Earth. Our excerpt describes how our intrepid band of explorers escape from their adventures deep in the earth by riding a raft up a volcano during an eruption. The main view panel over here to the right again provides some extra context for this excerpt by initially showing the location of the volcano in Iceland, Snæfellsjökull, that the explorers used to descend into the earth. Let's go to the end of our excerpt. And we can see that we have another link right here. This time at the end here we have a link showing the location of the Stromboli volcano in Italy. It's from this volcano that the explorers exit. At the very bottom of our section here, our literacy link, we've got a section called Questions for Comprehension and Understanding. In addition to this last section, we also sometimes have an extension activity. Question number five is an example of an extension activity. In this case, this is a brief math activity in which students measure the total distance that the explorers have traveled underground in 98 days and to calculate the average distance per day that the explorers would have had to travel in order to complete their journey. At the very bottom, View Answers shows the answers to all of the questions that have been posed. And the very last icon, Back to the Lesson, takes us back to the unit level. The first closing activity in the final wrap-up section is called, What Do You Now Know? It revisits the questions originally posed in the Get Ready activity called, What Do You Already Know? Students again respond to these questions, but this time they make use of knowledge that they have picked up as a result of having gone through the lessons. The View Answers button here reveals whether these statements were correct or incorrect, as well as indicating the relevant section in the program where more information can be found. The Back to Lesson button here at the bottom returns us again to the unit level screen. Our final activity in this section is the Unit Activity. The Unit Activity is designed to be a summative exercise in which students make use of knowledge and skills that they have learned as a result of going through the unit lessons. They must make use of this knowledge and skills in order to solve a specific task or a series of tasks. In this particular unit activity on analyzing lava flows, students are faced with two specific tasks. The first task involves determining the speed and direction of the North American plate. Students will do this by analyzing the flow and the date of lava flows from the Yellowstone hotspot. Let's cursor down a little bit to see the second task here. And we can see that this second task involves examining some of the lava flows in greater detail and estimating the relative size of these eruptions by measuring the surface area of these deposits. Clicking here reveals the extent of these ash deposits. 
As in all of our activities, the View Answers button here reveals the answers to all of our particular questions that have been asked. And finally, clicking the Back to the Lesson button takes us back to the unit level screen.